Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Jam Moses. I'm currently streaming live on YouTube. Just a few minutes ago, we got the new content drop with the new Friday promo, which I believe is called Regal. We have our new GOAT card of the week, LeBron James, and we have some Father's Day agendas and Evos. So we have a lot that we have to go through. I'm gonna try to keep it as, as short as possible um, and hopefully give you guys some tips on how to get these agendas knocked out as quickly as possible. And if there are some agendas that you should probably not consider uh, completing, I'll go over those in a second. Let's go ahead and first take a look, not at the GOAT cards because you know how it is. It's the same song and dance every week with those cards. If you rip packs, I hope you get the version of LeBron that you want, but just be prepared to not get that card because that's just the way the packs are this year. Um, in terms of the Regal, the Galaxy Opals, they all look pretty solid. I'm not gonna go over all the cards ratings or anything like that, but I do think that these cards are all relatively viable if you wanted to bring them online. And I mentioned that because, you know, you may wanna lock in this collection. Uh, and the reason why you may want to is because honestly, at least in my opinion, there really is no clear troll dark matter this week. Sure, you could argue Ray Allen, he's only a six foot five shooting guard, 6'8 wingspan um he's only shooting guard small forward eligible so he's not necessarily the tallest shooting guard but they did change his shooting base to kyle korber i don't know how much better or worse that makes his jump shot frankly um but i do know that i like kyle korber's jump shot a lot and i'm not sure if that's because of the upper part of his release or the base but i'm ready that if i were to lock in his collection which i'm pretty sure i will and if i get ray allen i will give him some run and see if i do like him or I felt, I felt if I at least like him enough over the Paul George card that I have right now at the shooting guard position currently. Now, if I don't get Ray Allen, if I get Cade Cunningham or Big Z, I'll be very happy. I think both of these cards are major W's. Uh, the Big Z looks great. A lot of people on YouTube and on Twitter seem to be very high on his jump shot. So that's pretty nice. And then Cade Cunningham, I feel like all year he's played very well. The problem is I think he's been a gamble only slash special insert card for a good amount of this year. So pretty frustrating that uh, yet another Cade Cunningham comes out that we can't get from the player market. But that's the way that it's been for a lot of big names in the game this year. Um, in terms of the agendas for the Regal collection, um, they don't look all that bad. Uh, you need to score uh, 50 points with any LeBron card over TT offline or online games. That should be very easy to do. Win a game using five Cavs players should also be very easy to do. Just pick one of the challenges like the free throw challenge from Basketball Fundamentals. You'll get it done really quickly. Uh, 50 rebounds with Spark players. This is also pretty easy in my opinion. We have so many good Spark cards out there and you can grind for them right now. Um, so if you have Tyson Chandler, he's going to probably be your best bet, unless I'm forgetting about another big, um, 50 assists with Lakers players over multi multiple multiplayer games. Not too bad. I don't know what Laker players I have. We'll take a look before I move on to the next part of this video, um, uh, at what Laker players I have score 61 with the heat player in a game that should not be all that bad to do five triple doubles over multiple multiplayer or sorry over multiple games not multiplayer games over multiple games i did not do the Wembanyama goat series challenge last week yet you need to get a triple double with a player to get that galaxy opal Wemby. so if you've not done that challenge yet like me it's kind of nice that you can complete that challenge and then have that triple double count towards this agenda which is not too bad and then completing the regal spotlights this shouldn't be too bad either so it's really nice again the only online uh, required agenda is the 50 assists which is really nice anytime you get into a uh, an agenda that's not a win related agenda with online gameplay you should be very happy in my opinion i feel like if you don't love playing online this is at least an okay agenda for you to tackle um let's take a quick look and see what laker players i have because i'm curious who could i bring that's a laker player that could get me assists in multiplayer games uh i'm not gonna bring Derek fisher's short ass could bring austin reeves i actually like that austin reeves rush card quite a bit as well as alice caruso maybe i'll bring kyle kuzma back i just benched him for Giannis. uh julius randall forgot that he's a, a laker card so yeah there are a number of really good laker cards you can use if you've been grinding the game you can see the majority of these cards are cards that i've grinded for right i mean Derek fisher i bought to complete the aftershock collection that I locked in to get Draymond Green, but then Alex Caruso I got from, I believe the Clutch Time offline um, door minigame last season. 
Uh, Austin Reeves, I got from grinding. Kyle Kuzma and James Worthy, I got from grinding. Same with Julius Randle, same with the Shaq card. So a lot of good options for you to bring online to get assists with. So that is really, really nice. Also, speaking of clutch time offline, the new reward for uh, clutch time offline is here. And uh, it is, where is it? Is it not out yet? Did I miss it? I just when I saw him earlier. I don't know where it is. But anyways, <laughs> it's, uh, it's what's his face? It is, um, I'm blanking on it, Serge Ibaka. Serge Ibaka for 50 wins. I don't know why, oh, it's right there. I don't know why I couldn't see the agenda for it, but yeah, there it is, Serge Ibaka. Looks like a pretty fun car to use um, at the power forward position. So I know a lot of people don't love clutch time offline, but I may be playing that game mode anyway to try to level up. I feel like I'm starting to fall behind after my heart, my hot starts in season seven. I'm only level 29 with 13 days left. So I gotta work on that. Now, before we get on out of here, we do have the uh, Father's Day event in my team. Uh, it's gonna be going on for about two weeks. It looks like until the end of season seven. Uh, we have a number of agendas and before i go through the agendas right here um i want to go through the evos so let's go ahead and take a look here we have four galaxy opals and four dark matter evos um i'm not going to go through all the different ratings i just want to show what the evos are so for larry nance jr you need 25 dunks and 25 rebounds for gold john barry you need 25 threes and 25 assists for Gary Payton, you need 75 points and 15 steals. And then for Seth Curry, you need 25 threes and 25 assists. Those are the four Galaxy Opals. For the Dark Matters, you have Glenn Robinson, who you need 150 points, 20 assists, and 20, 20 rebounds with, excuse me. Juwan Howard's Ruby Dunktober card, you need 150 points and 50 rebounds. For the uh, Sapphire Legendary Path Del Curry, to get him up to Dark Matter, you need 53s and 50 assists. And Scotty Pippen, a card who a lot of people are very interested in, obviously. His Evo requires 150 points and 25 steals. Now, the Scotty Pippen card does look very good. I will show his ratings. You can see he gets a lot of insane boosts. Let's change the, uh, the badges to current gen. Um... He gets a lot of very nice boosted badges right here, and his ratings all become incredible. This is a card that I definitely want to uh, pick up and grind for, like Evo-wise, potentially. The only reason why I'd be a little apprehensive to do so is because, unlike the other Dark Matter, Scotty Pippen, I believe, from the Vortex collection that we have in the game right now, I think he's one of the lock-in, uh, one of the Dark Matters that we have, right? So he's, he's a, a special insert. You can't buy him from the player market. Um... He can't play shooting guard. He's a small forward, power forward. If you don't mind that, I mean, he's not necessarily undersized at the small forward position, but, you know, 6'8 with a 7-foot wingspan, maybe you have someone taller. Like, I have Giannis. I'd probably rather run Giannis than the Scotty Pippen at the 3. But if I could run the Scotty at the 2, this would be a no-questions-asked pickup for me. Um, but the Evos are pretty cool, and I know I mentioned at the top of this video that there may be... A situation where you don't want to complete these agendas and i'm not going to go over the ratings for these cards the larry nance and the rick barry i just feel like whatever their ratings are i just don't see a world where it's going to be worth chasing these agendas to get those cards if you take a look at these agendas right here i'm not going to read them all out i'm going to just let you guys sort of read through them here as i scroll because there are a good number of them but the main thing i want to show you guys here is you can see first of all some of these cards that i showed that can get evoed like the emerald seth curry the amethyst glenn robinson you can grind for these cards just from the agendas and get them for free the scotty pippen though he is not a card that you can get from the agendas you have to go out and spend 28k mt to go and get them so um the reason why i think that's a little important to point out at least for me to point out and i don't know if this joan howard here is gonna come as a as an unsellable card or a sellable card i'm a little scared if, if i were to go to the exchange right because i think the best use for these cards while they do look solid i don't know if a lot of these evos are going to be cards that are going to make it into your lineups for whatever online game mode it is that you play um but let's say for example 
I wanted to go to one of these deluxe packs. We'll say this one, right? Because this one requires a, a Galaxy Opal player. I cannot put unsellable Galaxy Opals into this exchange. And all the Galaxy Opals that I have currently are unsellable. So the reason why this is a little frustrating is because I have Emerald Seth Curry already and uh, he's unsellable. I got him from, I forget how, I forget if it was from like a ball drop from a previous season um, or what have you, I don't exactly remember. But if I were to go to that Emerald Seth Curry right here, I can't quick sell him, I can't do anything to him. So the only way I could quick sell this card or do, do something with him is if I were to get a duplicate and I know I can get the duplicate from the agendas. So maybe I'll try to Evo this Seth Curry and then do the agendas, which I think requires 15 threes with any Steph Curry over multiple games to get that other Emerald Seth Curry. So I could do that, get that duplicate Emerald Seth Curry, and then see if I can take this soon to be Evo Seth Curry and put him into an exchange. But I just feel like it's gonna be a lot of work for nothing. You know, these, if we got this sort of event, I know Father's Day obviously is dropping, is happening this weekend, so we have to get the content that we got Evos wise this weekend. But had we got had we gotten these Evos two weeks ago when these uh these collections, the lock-ins only required Galaxy Opals, it would have been much better because the, the deluxe packs had more values back then. They they had more value. Right now, if I were to take a look at the uh the pack market, right? the uh the odds have not changed so it's still a three percent shot at you getting a dark matter but unfortunately you need this lamar odom card to lock in the legal collection to have a shot at the ray allen kate cunningham or the drunus elgauskas so you could keep doing the deluxe packs those deluxe packs that we get for friday uh friday promos are just glorified galaxy opal packs and these galaxy opals are dirt cheap so i just don't know if it's going to be worth grinding out the evos that we got today and then turning them into um what's it called turning them into fodder for the deluxe packs um you know if this was again two weeks ago before we got jalen green and now lamar odom as dark matters in the player market that would need to be put into the lock-in to get the the special insert players if those if the evos came out two weeks ago i would have been very excited they're out now and I really don't really care about them. I don't think any of the players are really gonna make my lineup in any way, but you know, we'll see. Maybe I'll grind for the uh, the Scottie Pippen offline. One kind of like sneaky, nice thing that I just picked up on. Um, for the Spark 4, if you haven't completed these agendas yet, one of the agendas requires 25 steals with a power forward uh, over multiple games to get the Galaxy Opal Jared Vanderbilt that you need to you know, eventually get the Dark Matter Kevin Garnett. If you are like me and you only made a very small dent into the agendas, or if you haven't even made any progress with this agenda yet, if you plan on grinding the 25 steals with Scottie Pippen, the Amethyst Scottie Pippen, the Mirage Scottie Pippen, who you need to get the 25 steals with to Evo him up to a Dark Matter, uh, you know, he's power forward eligible. So every steal you get with him will count towards his Evo and towards this agenda. So I think that's very helpful and another thing that you can consider um, if you want to grind out for that Scotty Pippen. So I'm not going to do that on stream today. We're going to be hopping into Clutch Time Online and working on getting some of these agendas done. That and Triple Threat Online as well for these dunks. So um, yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys. That's the video. Um, again, I am more than likely going to lock in this collection. We're in the middle of June. I still have a lot of MT. I'm just not going to rip packs again. I'll do like the exchange packs and stuff like that. But I have so many Galaxy Opals and Pink Diamonds sitting in my unopened packs that I want to take those packs or those players out of my unopened packs and put them towards deluxe packs and try to get um, some of the players from the collection that we got today that way to at least hopefully make it a little less expensive to lock in the legal collection. I mean, at the very least... Right, actually, at the very most, I'm not going to spend more than that 315k to get Lamar Odom. Uh, I'll use that Lamar Odom as my ticket to lock in the Regal Collection. So stay tuned for that video. Hope you guys found this video useful. Um, I should still be live on YouTube when you see this video go live, hopefully. So uh, if you want to come by and hang out, you're more than welcome to. If not, have a great weekend. I'll see you in the next video. And until next time, I'll see you later.